everybody it is monday again monday the 19th of february and today i'm going to be making some diamond tube necklaces with you so i love the diamond tube i've used it quite a few times i've made um, bracelets with it earrings with it but i don't think i've ever made a necklace so that's what we're going to do today it's really really straightforward i'm going to give it like this little kind of scalloped frill and it's the easiest thing to do. So we've got four lovely colours for you to choose from, um, as well as the gorgeous sparkly diamond tube. It also comes with some lovely little crystals, which match the colours and just finish it off, I think, really prettily. Prettily a word is now. Um, <laughs> so really lovely colours, just connecting them with some pins. Um, and some jump rings. I've added two jump rings on in between. I've done them before just with one, it works just as well, but I think this gives it a little bit more movement, a um, little bit more oscillation. Just making words up for you this morning. This is the lovely colourway that I've got for you. And it's, oh, it's lovely, this colour, it's black. But then it's got kind of like electric blues and greens and lots of lovely shimmers on it. And you can make these as long as you wish to. Uh, the one I'm wearing here, in fact, I'll take it off so I can show you it in a second down on the mat, is, um, oh, it's like a, a silvery blue. But it's really lovely, really comfortable to wear. Um, and as I say, you can make that to whatever length that you wish. So I'll pop this on the table, ready to show you down on the mat. Um, and I'll take you over to the website shortly. I'm just going to say a good morning to you all. So did you have a nice weekend? What have you been doing? What have you been up to? And um, what have you been making most importantly? So let me say hello to you all now. I'll put my busts down on the floor. Um, so we've got lovely Rachel in. She's always first in is our H. Good morning, Rach. She says she's in a sunny, sunny barrow and she got a new laptop. Um, so hopefully your your happy kind of um, technological vibes will come this way because last week it was a nightmare, wasn't it, for me? just kept, kept going off my camera. I tried it this morning. It's been on and the screen's been on and not gone off for a good half an hour. So my phone's possibly overheating. My downward facing camera is probably feeling a little bit warm. Um, but fingers crossed, all will be well. Good morning to Mina. Hello to Camille. She says, good morning, Natalie. Did you have a good weekend? I did, thank you. I had a very busy weekend. Very, very tired this morning. Um, I had a show on Sunday, yesterday. So um, yeah, I was um, doing my collection, which is lovely. Um, and then just drove home and, and unpacked and had tea and fell asleep on the couch. Really exciting. <laughs> So I was so tired this morning getting up. I didn't want to get up, but I had to. Um, good morning to Anne. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Good morning to Tracy. Good morning to Lisa. Hello to Janice. She says, looks wonderful. Uh, now an occasion to wear it. And of course, a new frock to match. What I love about these is because they're so sparkly, they can look very dressy. Um, or you could do all sorts with it. Or you could double them up that way. That'd be lovely. And you could get the little scallops to fit in between. Anytime I look at it, I come up with another idea for it. Um, this morning, I was thinking, you know, you could use some wire with this. And you could, what's lovely about it is it's, you can really, really sculpt it to how you wish. So it comes on a big tube like this. Um, it's got a nice size hole in the middle. So um, memory bangles, it's very, very good for. I've put them on um, hoops before and made earrings with them. Um, so you can dress it up, but also because of the colours and the sparkle on it, it can also just be really nice to wear like with a t-shirt and and just add that extra little bit of sparkle to your outfit but Janice I'm not judging you get yourself a new frock why not <laughs> Jan says good morning to myself and to everybody she says it's dull and grey in Sudbury um it's trying to be bright the birds were out singing in full force about seven o'clock this morning so the sun's trying to come through the clouds but it is quite quite 
bright but grey at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, Mina says she loves the electric blue colour. Good morning to Debbie. Uh, Anastasia's wishing me peace and love. Thank you so much. Sending that back to you. Good morning to Kath. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. She's sending some hearts to us all. Good morning to Christine. Hello. She says, good morning from Germany instead of California. Hello. How are you doing? Um, I hope your trip is going well and you're having lots of fun, Chrissy, doing all the wonderful things in Europe. Um, and hope to hope to see you soon if you come around this way. Good morning to Facebook user. Good morning to Shirley. She says good morning. They're just beautiful. Um, good morning to Anna. She says good morning, everybody. It's such a lovely sunny day here in Perth. Yolanda's having a happy Monday. Elaine's in as well. Um, Mina says it's the same in Leicester. And that's the beginning of your half term. Well, not yours, but your your children, isn't it today, Mina? I hope you're uh, hope you're coping all right good morning to marjorie how are you doing good morning to sharon um hello to facebook user um chris said she saw me yesterday morning for a bit it was it was a lot of fun thank you for tuning in uh shirley says raining all day in florida not the uh, sunshine state today um good morning to kelly who's watching in australia or good good evening rather kelly hello how are you doing good morning to birgit who's in a blue sky germany we've got everyone everywhere today i absolutely love this debbie says i haven't been making anything for a while but made some sparkly diamante friendship bracelets for birthday presents and might be getting a mojo back um well i hope you have I hope you are. I hope this can inspire you. It's nice, easy jewellery to make um, and it's fun. It's just a bit of fun. Uh, Mina says, I've made a few Jocelyn gemstone bracelets and my bias earrings. So she's been busy. Good morning to Rachel. Um, oh, sorry. Is it Rochelle? Sorry. From Israel. How are you doing? Good morning to Joanne. She says she's having, um, she's hoping everyone has a lovely weekend. Um, Rochelle is saying good morning to everybody. Good morning to Esther. Um, and Mina says, half term, yes, but son's in bed. She was in the office for 7.45 instead of 9 a.m. to drive. To the, the drive to the office was quick. Sometimes getting up early can really help you um, get where you're going, can't it? Because the traffic's a little bit better. Anastasia says, peace and love to everybody in the chat from Atlanta, Georgia, across the pond. It's 5.06 a.m. in Atlanta. So I'm going to be a little bit quieter. Um, good morning to Tracy. She says, made some Ostra crystal bracelets with some beads um, I had, but added some seed beads on the links. Oh, that sounds nice. If you can share it in the handmade group, Tracy, I'd love to see that. Um, Camille says, she's not been making anything this weekend, but she uh, but did those Talia beads last week. Oh, you did, didn't even make lovely things with that. I love the shape and of course the colours with those, Camille. So we've got lots of people in from everywhere, which is really, really lovely. I'm going to take you straight to the website. I'm just waiting for my computer to do that little circle of gloom. Um, and I'm going to take you over to the website and show you the kits today. So as I say, we've got lovely colours for you to choose from, but we've also got bundles of the diamond tube. So if you actually decide not only do you want to make the necklace, but you want to make um, bracelets with them, earrings with them, anything you like with them, then we've got some really good offers for you there as well. So we are totallybeads.co.uk and you can find us here on the website different ways to access the video tutorials there's this one here and there's this one there you can click in whichever one you fancy and that's going to take you over to this page now on this page is all our recent makes so you can see this is the orbit gemstone necklace we were talking about as is the uh, jocelyn gem bracelets which were very very pretty there's all sorts here these are the things we've been doing over the last um well, probably the last month shows on this page. If you want to scroll down a little bit further, you can also see lots of different tutorials. Um, you can see how busy we are. We do three tutorials a week. Um, so there's all sorts there. So if you want to, you can search by um, technique by bead. So you might think, 
I want to do some seed beading. You can click in it that way. Uh, you can search by date. So you might think, what were we doing this time last year or the year before? And you can click and look that way. You can search by kind. So you might think, I want to make a bracelet. I want to make earrings. And you can search that way. Or you can search by technique. So you might think, I want to do macrame or I want to do wire work, whatever it is. And then we've also got Natalie's, Laura's and Kitty's top makes there as well. Um, I don't quite know how they're grouped. They might be best sellers. I'm not too sure. Um, so if you want to make along with us using the exact same materials as we are doing on the live, you can click into whatever the project is that takes your fancy. Today is Gloria, Gloria Diamond Necklace. So this is what we've got for you. We've got some fabulous bundles of your diamond um, tube resin packs with beautiful, beautiful colours. Um, they should be £24. They've been reduced to date to 18. So you can see there's lots of different colours there you can choose from. We've got the AB8 pack, candy colours 8 pack. I'm loving the candy colours. And we've also got the silver black colours as well. So for example, if I'm to click into one, you can see there for £18, you are getting eight um, sparkle cord Oh, end caps and crystals as well. Oh, you can add that in for an extra four pound. That's good. So if you just wanted to make a little bracelet and pop an end cap on, I have done them that way before. So you can see all the information you need there. Um, and it also gives you measurements so you can see how, you know, what you're going to get so the pack contains eight mixed colors and um, there's a total of five meters or as uh, each is 70 centimeters so there's an awful lot in there and if you want to you can also add or i think we're out of stock on those at the moment if you click this bit though here it should take you in if you want to get some end caps and things for that um so you can have a little look at all those colours. As I say, we've done lots of different projects with these before. I wondered if it would show us the things that we've done previously. Um, as I say, I've done some memory wire bangles with it. I've used some lava beads with them before. Um, I'm probably going to be doing another bracelet in the foreseeable future because I think they're really nice and really summery. But today, these are the necklaces that we're doing. So I've got the Gloria Diamond Necklace in an Amethyst AB. It is £9.99 for you. Or you can get buy two and get 20% off. We've also got the Jet Black one, which is AB, which stands for Aurora Borealis. Sorry, I'm getting buzzy video messages, so I don't might have to check what that is. Um, so the AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means it's got an absolutely beautiful um, kind of shimmer to it. Usually I'd say it's like a petrol finish. So if something's been kind of, you know, you get that petrol spill, you get that kind of little rainbow effect. It's lovely. We've got the ruby red and we've got the silver light aqua as well. So all of our kits today are £9.99. And again, we've got that buy two, get 20% off. So if I click into this one, this one is your amethyst you'll see what you're getting in your kit now it makes two necklaces so £9.99 for two necklaces if you wanted to instead maybe you wanted to make a bracelet and one necklace and then you're going to have plenty diamond tube left over you can make a full suite of jewelry you can make some earrings and things with it as well if you like um we're going to be using the crystal rondelles which are four by six millimetres, you're getting your eye pins, your jump rings and a lobster clasp in there for you as well. If you want to see exactly what the components are, you can scroll down. I'm using silver plated uh, jump rings, eye pins and a lobster clasp on all of these today. So all of the findings are going to be the same colour. They're all going to be silver plated. I'm using um, the six by one jump rings, which is your outer diameter measurements. Uh, and for the eye pins, I'm using 50 millimetre because I'm going to be adding two of those crystals on, which are four by six and a little bit of tube in the middle as well. They're a really straightforward make to do, but to make it two necklaces up for you, which I think is really good. Um, the crystals that I'm using are the amethyst. There's a lovely, lovely um, 
a lot of lovely sparkly crystals in there and I think you'll agree it goes really nice with that diamond tube so you can have a closer inspection of that so this is how your necklace is going to look just popping it together with the little jump rings here um, they can flip and turn which means you know you can add different kind of shapes to this if you wish to I've just created this lovely scalloped edge you don't have to the only way I've managed to achieve that is by just putting a very gentle bend in the middle of that pin and that tube just takes that shape which is lovely um, but you can keep them straight if you prefer you can do whatever you like with them so £9.99 buy two get 20% off each kit makes two necklaces and this is your amethyst AB colorway We've also got the gorgeous Jet Black. It's beautiful. I need to show you this diamond tube on the map because it is Jet Black. But wait till you see that. Look, look at the sparkles. This probably gives a better, better depiction. Look, look at the colours in there. So you can see there's golds, there's blues. It's beautiful. Very sophisticated. If you did just want to buy um, the diamond tube on its own, you can do that. You can see this one is three pounds, um, and not too sure how much you're getting in that. It should say in the description there for you somewhere. Um, so we're using the hint of blue crystal rondelles which are your four by six again all your silver findings and it's going to make this really lovely colorway so you can see just linking those together with those little pins and the jump rings this one is your ruby red might be lovely as well if you wanted to mix them up i think the ruby red actually goes quite nice with the amethyst and i think the silvery one looks lovely with the black um, in fact, the black would probably look lovely with this ruby red as well. So you could mix that up if you wanted to. Um, so you can see this is our lovely colourway here for you. Just zooming in a little bit so you can see that lovely diamond tube and you can see the sparkles on that. Um, it's got, it's like you've got this tube and then it's coated in, they look like tiny little, well, it's kind of like diamond shaped um it looks like it's been dipped in crystal. It's really hard to describe, but when I show you them on the mat, you'll get a good look at them and a good view there. The crystals I'm using in this are absolutely beautiful. They are your autumn rainbow. So you've got um, predominantly kind of gold and and red tones to it, but you can see there there's, there's lots of other lovely, lovely colours in that as well. So again, it looks very nice, I think, with the diamond tube in this ruby red colourway. Again, still £9.99 pence for you to make two necklaces up in that colourway. And there's also the buy two, get 20% off. And this is your silver light aqua. So if I scroll down there, you can see I've used the, I think I need to change this because your hematite are with the black and it is the, um, diamond hint of blue crystals you're getting with this one so the description is incorrect on this i've only just noticed that i'll show you them down on the mat i'll message simon just to make sure he's clear um so you can see the colorway that you'll be making will look like this in this kit apologize for that i'll get that sorted for you so you can see these are lovely colorways four gorgeous colors for you to choose from but don't feel like you need to be restricted you know you could get the candy colored pack and you could do this design and you could use each of these little scalloped edges in a different color if you wish that would look particularly lovely i think anyway so let me have a little scroll back up and see what i've missed i've got loads and loads of people in which is just really really lovely um so hopefully i've not missed any questions um where was i up to tracy said um she did share and i commented and the red and blue flower beads thank you very much for that joanne says um my son's half term was last week he couldn't get up in time today not a great start back my son's was last week as well um my really felt for it my um sister-in-law she's got three boys and the youngest were off last week and her eldest is off this week because the schools are in different boroughs um 
so that's been a challenge but yeah I think everyone maybe maybe not but I felt like anyone on half term probably struggled to get up this morning and no I did Sally said good morning I hope all you are all well first time uh, sending and messaging loving these tutorials um what does that say my little bit of calm Oh, that's lovely, Sally. Sally, welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. We're here um, 10 a.m. UK time, if that's where you're watching from. And we're on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'm always with you on a Monday and Friday. So we have Kitty or uh, Laura who will alternate on Wednesdays. And we all make a variety of different things with a lot of different techniques and if you've got any suggestions or anything that you would like let us know and we'll put that idea together for you we also like to name our project so if you've got a particular make in mind and you think i'd love that to be called sally if we've not named it already we haven't got project with the same name then i'll definitely i'm always needing inspiration for names as well um i called this one gloria today i don't know why i just looked at it and thought to Gloria. Um, good morning to Cassandra who's in Louisiana and it's 4 a.m. Um, Camille is saying she's loving the candy coloured ones. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, good morning to Janie Ross. Hello, my lovely. I gave her a full title because that's my big cousin. Hello. I love you, millions. How are you doing? Um, Tina says, hi, Natalie. Are these jump rings the same ones as you use for the hyacinth bracelet? Mm, I can't remember possibly um i usually use an outer diameter six by one that's my go-to depending on what i'm making honestly i think any size jump ring would probably work for this providing you can get your pins in it i've doubled up the jump ring so i've used two in between but you don't have to do that if you just want to use one um i'm gonna say yes tina but I can never remember the names of what goes with this. Ask me in a few weeks what Gloria was, and I'll be like, um, and then say, was it the diamond tube? I'll be like, yeah. So I, mean, I apologize for my lack of memory. Um, I've slept since then. <laughs> Joanne says she's loving the black. I thought you would. You like your monochrome look, don't you? Good morning to Monica. Anastasia says, I've never seen this stuff before. They are just beautiful. I'm really excited. I'll take you down on the mat now. Um, and I will show you what they look like. So camera playing ball, let, let's let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, so I've got them just scattered on the desk at the moment. I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna show you what the tube looks like and how it works. So it comes, let's move them out of the way. It comes on like a coil like this, and you'll see it's got if i can in fact let me just pop a pin in one so you can see this tube it's got a tube in that runs all the way through so it's a hollow tube and therefore you can give it structure quite easily um it's brilliant for things like memory um bangles what you need to do though is you keep you know, if you're using that memory wire you need to just curve it around just to make sure that your memory wire is slipping through nice and easily. Um, so it's kind of like a rubbery tube. It's got lots of flex to it. And then it's coated, if I can get a little bit of focus, in these, just, they're just gorgeous. And the way they catch the light, obviously they've got a beautiful colour to them. I've got a little bit of fluff there off my table. I apologise for that. That won't come in your projects. Um, <clears throat> but yeah they've got a lovely shape to them so you can see it they're kind of like just fully dipped in um those kind of diamonds it's not particularly scratchy um sometimes people think oh, it might be a little bit scratchy obviously i you know i've worn it against bare skin and it feels quite comfortable um just look at the colors and i'm matching these with the crystals as well so these are the pairing that you will get. This is your amethyst looking one in the ruby red colorway. Again, if I can show you, this is the tube. And then your crystals on this colorway are kind of like an autumn color. So you've got kind of pinky colors, reddishy bits, browns, golds. And of course, our crystal rondelles are faceted as well. So that's just going to add a little bit more twinkle and sparkle if you haven't got enough already. Um, 
Yolanda says diamond caps and memory wire are out of stock. The I th it depends on the memory wire, Yolanda. I think um, it might be the 0.6 is, but I think we've got some 0.8 in. Um, and the diamond clasps, if you buy the kits on, uh, if you have a little look back, if you type in diamond tube, you might see we've done bracelets before. They might be in the kits already for that. Um, Angela, I really hope you're okay. I'm sending you lots and lots of love, my hon. I really hope you're all right. Joanne says she's got some of this tube and she couldn't decide how to use it. And thank you for always giving inspiration. You're absolutely welcome. Um, Mina, no, I'll, I'll check with him afterwards because after my live, nothing's going to be dispatched straight away anyway. They'll be putting those orders together. So I'll just make sure that it might be just a computer Um you know where they put it in the wrong place but i've written it all down for the warehouse anyway so i'll just double check i've done that right good morning to hannah how are you doing uh lois says my first time watching on she's on she's vacation vacationing in florida and she lives in illinois thank you so much for joining me um joanne is saying loving the black and the blue also loved collecting lots of bruises as a kid <laughs> Jan's put her order in as well and Angela says she's used the tube in to make the bracelets and the earrings we did but the necklace looks lovely I've not done um, a necklace with it I don't think before um, for Totally Beads so I'm looking forward to this okay this is the one that I'm going to check on so this is your black tube and you see there we've got all of those gorgeous gorgeous colours blues, greens, sparkles, a little bit of gold but I've put these with the hematite so um they're not hematite, they are um, glass um, rondelles, but the colour of them is called hematite. So they've got like a very deep, steely blue, kind of a black blue colour to them. So that's what I've paired together. Um, oh, thank you, Mina. Look, she's on it already. She says, I've spoken to Simon for you. Uh, the crystal colours are in the kits for you. Thank you so much. And Facebook user has ordered too. Thank you so much. Um, so this one is with the hint of blue and crystals. So the crystals are exactly that. It They are kind of clear, but there's just the softest touch of like an icy blue tone to them, which again, I think looks gorgeous with the diamond tube. Your diamond tube on this one has got a lovely icy blue color to it. And then that silver back. And I think it shows really nicely the um you know what the shape of this is like if i can get it to focus you can see they're just covered in loads of little kind of diamondy bits so let's get making really really straightforward i think i've shown you all the colors there so all i'm gonna need is whatever is in my kit today so they were nine pound 99 makes two and you're getting um also an offer if you want to get um two you're getting that percentage off Jan says I couldn't decide so I ordered all of them well then you'll have doubled up your um percentage discount off so I'm going to take my tube and I'm going to cut it to whatever length I want I've done it so they're about two centimeters each um and that is probably about an inch so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it against my ruler as I say, about an inch in length, if you work that way, or centimetres. And you can cut this with your um, flush cutters, or you can cut it with your scissors. I want to show you how easy this is to cut, and it's this really satisfying. So all I'm doing is just cutting it straight. And you can see I've got that love. It's a really good project to do, actually, if you've got little off cuts of this left over as well. Tina, you're most welcome. Um, all I'm going to do is... Instead of measuring each one against the ruler, I'm just going to measure the next one against itself. So I'm going to put my diamond tube up against the next one. Again, with my scissors, I'm just going to give it a little cut. I say it's really satisfying because it's quite rubbery. So I'm just creating little sections which are similar in length. And I'm doing them at about an inch each, which is about two centimetres. Now, for the size of the necklace I wanted, and I've put, as you'll have enough for your kits, I'm doing 13 of these. Um, so, in total, I think you get, you'll get you need about 26 centimetres um, of the diamond tubing for a necklace of this size. 
So again, just kind of laying it next to each other. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'm just cutting it so it's cutting straight. Um, sometimes you might get a little bit and it's not fully straight. You can just give it a little trim. But if I can show you what these look like, this is what is on the tube. It's really, really lovely. So I'm just trimming it and I'm going to trim. I've done 13 pieces, but you can do whatever you like. So what I would do to begin with is I would just cut my tube and I'm just cutting it. I've got quite blunt scissors as well, to be honest. They're not the sharpest scissors, um, but you can see like a hot knife through butter just cuts really easily. So I would start off by just cutting my tube first. Once I've got a little pile of my tubes, I'm going to take my gorgeous crystals. These are the amethyst colour and I'm going to put two onto each one so i'm just going to pour them out into a little pile and i'm going to get my eye pins so the eye pins that i'm using are 50 millimeters in size um the difference with an eye pin to um a head pin is it's got this little loop already on so it's like a little eye shape like a lollipop um, you can use wire if you want to and you can make your own eye pins um, a head pin would have a little kind of nail tip flush finish to the top of it and a ball pin would have a little round ball on the end. I want to make these into double connectors so I'm using my eye pins and I'm using this length because it's a nice length because if you see now I'm going to slide on my crystal and then going to slide on my diamond tube and there is a curve to the diamond tube but as I slide that through you'll see it just straightens up and goes nicely on there. And then I'm going to add another crystal. So I've got a lovely long length on my pin that I can now turn a little loop and I'm going to make this into a double connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push them all down so they're sitting close to that loop at the bottom and I'm going to turn my pin at a 90 degree angle. Now anyone who's watched me make before, you know, I've done this a thousand times. This is a very basic fundamental technique of making jewellery um oh Mina you're just lovely thank you so much um so all I've done is I've bent that pin and bending my eye pin first because what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this loop and because I've bent it at a 90 degree angle when I turn that loop it's going to sit nice and flush right in the middle so I'm going to bend my pin and I'm bending it really nice and close to that crystal. If I was making a wrap loop, I'd want a little bit of space to be able to wrap that round, but I'm just turning a loop as normal. So I want that to bend to be nice and close. And I'm gonna come in with my flush cutters using the flush side here. And I'm gonna trim, leaving roughly about a centimeter from the crystal to my cutters. I'm just putting my hand over it gently because I don't want that little tiny piece to fire away anywhere. You can see I've cut a tiny bit of the pin there. And I just want to keep that from, you know, firing off anywhere. And I'm just going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make that nice and flush. Now, if you want to get exactly the same size loop, what you can do is you can put your pin onto the round nose pliers, the the, the loop that's already turned and you can just look with your eye or mark it with a little pen if you want to where that loop sits on the pliers so I'm seeing it's probably about a millimeter or so in from the end then if I position my pin that I'm about to turn in the same place it should make the same size loop so to turn my loop I'm just going to hold on to the crystal and the diamond tube on that pin there just to give myself some purchase and making sure my pin isn't sticking out the other side of my round nose pliers because if I turn my loop and I've got some sticking out it's not going to fully turn so I'm just making sure it's nice and flush holding on I'm going to give it a little flick to turn it round so you'll see now my knuckles are facing up towards me and then I'm repositioning my hand so my knuckles are away from me and little rotations of my wrist are going to turn that pin so it sits nice and neat on the top 
and it is around the same size I'm just going to neaten it up a little bit and um, if i do it in one go i always get it perfect when i break it down and show you how my hands positioned it's never quite right and i'm just going to check that those pins are facing these loops rather are facing the same um, direction if it needs a slight adjustment i'm going to take two of my pliers and very gently just give it a little twist just to make sure that they're sitting up and i want to make sure that those loops are not just facing the same direction but that loop is fully turned in on itself so it's you know fully closed and i'm just going to keep going with that so for me i've made 13 of them um i might make a little bracelet today instead um all i'm doing is just repeating that process so crystal diamond tube and crystal onto my pin give it a little bend i bend it this way so what i do is i have that loop facing me like facing upwards and then i bend my pin that way and that way my two little loops will be facing and running in the same direction again coming in with my cutters i'm just going to leave about a centimeter and then with my round nose pliers making sure it's flush holding it in place going to give little rotations of my wrist to make that perfect little loop and that way i'm not putting loads of strain or pressure on my wrist either um if you're making lots and lots of, of, of wrap loops you know you can get that right repetitiveness it can um, you know, we want to make sure we're looking after ourselves when we're making our jewellery, especially if we are making lots like, you know, I know our lovely Mina um, makes a whole lot of jewellery because she, she sells it at craft fairs and different events. Um, so you want to make sure that you're looking after your wrists and things like that. Um, so I'm not putting, you know, too much pressure on my wrist. I'm not, um, I'm not contorting it in any way. I'm just doing that little flick to begin with to get that shape and then repositioning my hand so I'm just it's kind of like I'm like I'm revving a motorbike or something and that's just going to turn that loop and it's going to sit nice and neatly on the top so just keep going with that I'm making my little pile if you wanted to you could add more crystals on um, you should have enough space on the pin or again if you wanted to cut these pieces of your diamond tube a little bit smaller or larger you can do that as well um, you could have one which is a slightly different length from the others and then you could alternate it or have that as your center piece in the middle you do whatever you like with it again just covering it over just to make sure that that doesn't fire away um, sometimes i'll just hold it with my fingers as i cut it and you could probably use your looper tool with this as well if you wanted to. So if you've got a little looper, um, I'll try it with the looper. I do prefer to turn my pins by hand, um, but I, I will give it a go with the looper just to see. Tina says, I find this loop the hardest, whereas the wire wrap loop is so easy. You make it look so easy. It's just practice, Tina. But I agree with you. Some things that are meant to be really simple aren't always and other things that look more complicated <laughs> can be easier to do if i'm using my looper tool which does all that turning for me i'm gonna add on everything i would do my beads and my diamond tube and then i'm gonna position it up into um this little section of my um my looper now my pin isn't long enough to come through the back of that hole there if I show you, you've got a little hole at the back and I would usually position my wire or my pin through there. Obviously, because I've got um, the diamond tube in and, and all the beads on, um, I'm not going to get that right the way through. But I'm just going to hold it so this part of the tool is close up to that crystal. And as I pull the handles in, it's still going to cut it and it's going to turn that loop for me. All I would need to do is just go in again with my round nose pliers and just make sure that that loop's fully closed. So you can use the looper tool with this if you want to. Just watch your crystals. If you get a little bit of a bend in your pin, 
it really doesn't matter we're going to be bending them anyway you can see they're nice and easily just ran through my fingers to straighten out a little bit again on with the crystal on with my diamond tube and on with the crystal and i'll use the looper tool again so i'm keeping my little loop facing up i'm positioning my pin in so as long as it meets this part here it's going to cut and then this section here is going to do that turning of the loop for me so i'm holding on to my um just gently positioning it aligning it with my finger see i haven't cut it there that can happen if it doesn't go through the loop if it doesn't cut don't worry it'll still turn your loop all you'll need to do is come in with your cutters again using the flush side didn't put my hand over it there so i've just fired my pin away but you can you know it's still completely salvageable i've still got that loop um, and if I need to straighten those ends up, so if it's slightly turned and they're not fully running in the same direction, then I'm just going to give it a gentle little twist just to get those loops facing the same way. So make your little pile of them for as many as you want. You are going to get a little bit of an extra length if you do attach it with two jump rings. Um, the two jump rings will give you probably about um a centimeter or so so i would just kind of make them as i go and then try and figure out you know if it's too long i can just take one out or if i want it to sit a bit lower then i can add an extra one in turning that pin to the side cutting off so i've got that extra just a centimeter or so positioning it into my round nose pliers where about I want it making sure it's nice and flush so just gently run my finger over the other side hold it down with my finger and thumb tiny rotations all the way around if I need to straighten it up I can do just making sure that pin is fully closed and then I'll do one more and then we can just start piecing it together um, they're really fun to make they're very straightforward and i think using the diamond tube gives that effect of like you know you've created like beady beads is that what they're called beaded beads um i just think it gives um a little bit of texture a lot of color a lot of sparkle and a little bit of um dimension to your work and just I think they're very summery. You can wear them all year round, but obviously, depending on the colours that you've got, you can make these into perfect summer makes or sparkly kind of seasonal makes. You can do whatever you like. Um, Iris says, I haven't quite mastered the looper because I quite often break the crystal. I'll do another one for you then, Iris. Um, and it is just being aware of how you position um, again, I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to cut it with my wire cutters. So if I'm using my wire cutters, my flush cutters, I'm just using the straight part here and giving it a little trim. You can see whatever you've got to hand will cut them really nicely. <clears throat> if I'm using my looper tool, then all I need to do is make sure that that crystal isn't going... Um, I think this one might be a little bit longer... The reason why you often break your crystal is there's a lot of pressure here. So when I turn that together, you can see it lines up here. But as I gently pull the handle, there we go, you can probably see it a bit better there. It moves over to that space. So if I put it this way flat, you can see as I pull that handle together, you can see that part of the, the tool moves over. And it's that that puts the pressure on the crystal. So if you are using a looper, I would use it slowly. And then you can see here, if it's getting close to the crystal, I can back off or reposition if need be. So it can be done. Um, you just need to ensure that you're, you know, not breaking your crystals. I think with, with things like... Um, gemstone chips and um 
set and maybe like even the the glass foil um like silver foil beads you do have to be a little bit cautious of of using the looper and that's why i prefer to do it by hand but it's entirely up to you now all i'm going to do is i'm going to make some lovely shape and curve to these pieces and the way i'm doing that is i'm just going to take the ends where i'm holding that crystal and i'm just going to give it a little bend and can you see i've put that curve into it you can curve it as much as you want those pins are nice and soft and the tube is flexible too so just pinching the ends in together is creating that gradual curve and as i say you can really emphasize that curve if you want so i'm just holding it so i've got my loops facing to the side my finger and thumb on top and i'm just going to give it a little pinch if i want to pinch it more just bend it in a little bit more and that's going to create that kind of scalloped edge around my jewelry it's really fun to do i just like the feeling of this this tube it's very um tactile i think is the word it makes me just want to makes me want to touch it so you can see just the tiniest bit of pressure is creating that lovely curl um that curve in it and i can accentuate that more by just pushing those crystals in towards each other i would say this project would probably take you about half an hour if that you could probably get it done in about 20 minutes obviously it depends if you're turning by hand those loops so they've got lots of little smiles or if they're that way little frowns <laughs> and all i'm going to do now is attach them together with my jump rings um let me get my lobster class out as well i should have that ready and i haven't so your kit, which is nine pounds and ninety nine pence today for two necklaces, um, is going to make up um, quite a large necklace, and you are um, going to get all the bits and bobs that you need in your kits. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my jump rings. So to open my jump ring, you'll see they slightly staggered those two ends. I'm going to take two pairs of pliers if you've got a jump ring opener like a little ring you can use that and i'm just going to give it a little turn towards me i'm only opening it up by a few millimeters it's going to be enough for me to be able to pick up one of my components and slide that through the loop um, but at the same time it's not going to distort the shape of my jump ring and then to close it up i'm just going to go back in the opposite direction so taking lots of surface area uh, with my pliers and just giving it a little turn away from me and it should just click lovely into place for me a bit of focus on that sometimes i take it slightly past the point where they meet it's not focusing too well is it and then as i let go it will spring nice and closed so you can attach these together with just one jump ring but what I've done is I've attached it together with two, gives it a little bit more length and it gives it a little bit more movement as well. And then I'm going to open up the next jump ring and then I'm sliding it on. And as I position them on, I'm just making sure that they're kind of going in the same direction. So those little curves are curving upwards like so. So they can flip around, they can move. Um, you know you could place them in different ways but they should sit with gravity they should just all sit in that same direction oh angela i do hope you're all right my love you want to pop me a message afterwards um if you want to talk you you know where i am um again just picking up the next one adding on my jump ring closing it over Picking up the next jump ring, opening it up, sliding it through one jump ring that I've just attached and picking up my next piece of diamond tube. You will find that if your, um, if your pins are slightly facing in different directions, 
they they might sit slightly differently so you can always just give them a little turn and a little twist if you need to those loops um just so they you know they sit nicely like so this is how complicated it gets you're literally just attaching one to the other um, but i love the fact that you know when you've got pins that we've got here they are strong and sturdy that loop isn't you know um gonna falter it's really gonna hold that loop shape nice and strong um but at the same time they're kind of supple enough that you can you can put that curve in very very easily just with the the you know the use of your fingers um but again this is very lightweight jewelry because those diamond tubes are hollow um they're very light pieces to wear and that's why they make um lovely earrings and things as well because they're, they're not heavy at all so i'm just positioning them like so um rachel says my grandmother and my mum always said keep smiling it makes them wonder what you're up to <laughs> yeah well you know i agree i think it is important to keep smiling and keep plodding on but i also think it's important to acknowledge that life isn't all smiles is it we we have lots of challenges that you know face us and um we need to make sure that we are looking after each other so we can't be smiling all the time What's the saying? Something about you can't see the stars without the darkness. Um, so if you need to acknowledge those feelings, whether they be positive or not so, and you need someone to talk to, there's always someone to talk to. Um, and I'm always here if you want to have a chat. Um, we do counselling, listening and a bit of being here. Because <laughs> we're all friends, we need to look after each other. Um, Okay, so all I'm doing is just connecting those pieces. I've not done 13 pieces of the diamond tube. But you can see how quickly it grows. And as I say, having those two jump rings on together instead of one is just giving it that extra little bit of length. Um, and I think it makes them sit really nicely. But you don't have to if you want to just add them together with one jump ring. You can do. You could attach them directly to each other. Um, but you might need to um, have one loop facing one way and the other loop facing the other so they connect on to each other. Does that make sense? Hello, Phoenix Creation. She says, hi, all. Hi, Nat. I'm late. She's going to catch up later. It looks lovely. I hope you will. Um, slide in on my jump ring. If you are just joining me, we are making the Gloria Diamond Tube necklaces today. Um lovely little diamond tube um kits and bundles if you wanted to buy um lots of diamond sparkly tube you can do you can do all sorts of stuff with this we've done bracelets we've done earrings today i'm making a necklace the kits are nine pound 99 and there's an offer on as well i think is it if you buy two you get 20 percent off I shouldn't guess that in case I guess it wrong, but it's all on the website if you need it. Um, Camille says, just attach then onto chain now and you can make more necklaces or bracelets. Yeah, absolutely. If you wanted to, you could do um, just a section of this and add it to chain, as Camille says, then you're getting loads out of your kit. If you want to, um, I say, use wire, um, you could, you know, or you could attach them together with little bits of chain. You could do whatever you wanted. If you were using some wire, you could make a longer section here. So when I've got the length that I want, I'm just positioning them in the right direction. All I've got to do now, this is going to be the tiniest necklace. Um, what I would suggest you do is you make an odd number. So how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would make nine. I'm going to use this one actually because it's a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off just to open it up a second. 
but I would make an odd number because you would like, well, I think it looks nice, aesthetically pleasing. If you've got that odd number, then you've got one that's going to sit centrally in the middle. So again, pop your diamond tube and your crystals onto your pin. Give a little bend with your fingers and then just attach with the jump rings. So if you have got that odd number, you're going to have one which is going to sit nice just in the middle. Opening up the jump ring, slide it on. Making sure my jump rings are fully closed and my loops are fully closed. Oh, I love that sound. I love that clip. So you can see now, if I, if I make it this way, that's going to sit in the middle because I've got that odd number. And now all I need to do is attach my clasp um, to the back. So I'm going to take two jump rings. Phoenix says she's used memory wire and made a choker for her cousin who loved it. And the memory wire bracelets also bought memory wire and finishing plier as she broke around nose pliers if you're using memory wire um don't use your normal cutters use like industrial like cutting tools i always rummage in the toolbox because if you're using memory wire it's tempered steel so it is very 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 strong and you are gonna end up putting little nicks and dints into your flush cutters which is gonna not only blunt them but make them pretty much useless um so yeah if you are using memory wire using the diamond tube then make sure you're using proper tools it can be difficult to turn that loop but we have done videos on that in the past so you could have a little look at memory wire um tutorials on the website or you could also have a little look at um, other diamond tube projects that we've done. Um, she's also said use um, an extender chain if it's too short. Yeah, it's really easy to attach an extender chain when you're doing a project like this. All I would do is get a little length of chain and attach that to my jump ring, providing my lobster clasp can fit through the link on the chain. Um, then jobs are good and so um, that also makes your jewellery a little bit more extendable as well the lobster clasp I'm using today which will be in your kit is a 12 millimeter one and um, so all I'm going to do is attach my jump ring to the last one of my uh, diamond tube connectors and then I'm going to add on my lobster clasp and then I'm going to close that jump ring just like before turning it slightly away from me um, to close and now I have got a lovely little necklace a very little necklace in fact I'll open it out a little bit more if you can see the full size and shape apologize for the uh, shadows which have appeared on my mat but that means the sun's out and shining and um, thank you so much Mina says the crystal beads have been corrected on the website so let's have a little look <laughs> phoenix says you're a bit late now i to uh, got totally beads beadsmith heavy cutters you had a pair and i zoomed in on the video but it was turning the loops that killed the plier and i found memory pliers yeah if, if memory wire is is gorgeous but it can be a bit tricky to use facebook user says very pretty make natalie thank you so much um jan says i can't wait to do this thank you as always for a beautiful tutorial you are very welcome if you're wondering how to get your hands on the kits today head over to totallybeads.co.uk we are in the gloria diamond tube necklaces so they are here you can see we've got the bundles for you reduced from £24 to £18. You get in a pack of gorgeous coloured, different coloured tubes there. Or you can buy the kits today. It's buy two, get 20% off if you want to mix and match with them. In your kits for £9.99, you're making two lovely necklaces up. They won't be as tiny as the one I've made today. Um, you are going to be able to make a good size length necklace there. Um, so 
as I say, I've been cutting my little sections to about two centimeters, which is about an inch, attaching on with um, a little crystal either side onto my 50 millimeter eye pin, giving it a little bend in the middle to give it that lovely shape and attaching them together with two jump rings. If you click now into the Jet Black kit, you will see that they are with the hematite crystals, which are four by six. Thank you for sorting that out for us, much appreciated. And if you're looking at the lovely Silver Light Aqua, you'll see those crystals are now with the hint of blue. So what I've made today, and what I've showed you here on the samples is what will be in your kit. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Bob on 11 o'clock. I always feel rather pleased with myself when I get it spot on. Kim Neal says, thanks, Natalie. Have a great day. Tina says, thank you so much. Totally different look and easy techniques. Couldn't be any easier, Tina. And very, very sparkly. So I do hope you like it. Esther says, thank you for a wonderful tutorial. Thank you so much. I'm going to be back with you on Friday. Um, I'm making earrings with you on Friday. Little beaded earrings. I've got some lovely crystals. I've got some seed beads. They're really pretty, nice, easy make. Um, and I hope you can come and join me then. In the meantime, have a wonderful week. And I'll see you soon, everybody. Take care. Bye.